Third and four. Shotgun now for Manning. Toward the sideline, and he will have the first down as he was able to keep the feet in bounds. They give him seven yards on the play, and they do pick up the conversion on third down. I feel like Eli Manning has just gone from downfield bomber to a guy who can complete everything. He can hit him underneath now, yeah, can he? Yeah, we just saw that there with that pass completion. The maturity of a veteran taking what the defense will give him. Four down, four down. They go play action here on first down. That's caught by his tight end, Evan Ingram. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. A couple of first downs has the football positioned at the 43 as they come up first and 10. On the ground, this is Saquon Barkley. And able to push his way forward here for a good little game. And give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down. A very solid gain on that play. Manning to throw on second down. The attempt on the dive, and he has it. What a catch. It's a pickup of 16 there, and it'll lead to a new set of downs. Every coach we ever talk to says to his team before the game, quick start, guys. Let's get out of the gate fast. <laughs> How about that? They took his lesson to heart, didn't they? They did exactly that. A nice diving catch here on the game's opening drive. Manning gonna throw deep for the end zone so they took a shot on first down but couldn't connect but well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one take the big shot right out of the gate at worst you'll open up the defense a little bit loosen them up have them back on their heels and once again they'll go from the 23 yard line on second and ten They go back to the ground now with Barkley. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest game. Give the tackle there to Morgan Burnett. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Eighth play of this opening drive coming up. This is third down. From the gun, it's Manning. And Ingram holds it in. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. His passing's been on point on this drive, hasn't it? Been very accurate. Got the ball downfield, gained nice chunks of yardage. But now, in this situation, the field is really condensed, partner. So if he's going to throw the football, that would be pinpoint here. I was, was going to ask you about that. Field shrinks, has to be sharper, but it's been a good opening drive so far. Now they just want to see if they can cap it off with the bell ringer and put it in the end zone. Throwing now is Manning. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. And they go the wrong way on this one. Losing yardage back at the 12. Call it a loss of six on the play. And that'll make it second and goal. Got to give some credit there defensively. They snuffed out that screen early on first down. Really read it well, didn't they? Because they didn't bring the pressure that they expected. They covered all the passing lanes. So once you see a breakdown as the passer, I think in this situation, you're throwing it at the feet of your back to make sure no one picks it off, or you throw it away, throw it over the sideline. Don't try and freelance and try and make a bigger play. There's really no one else running a pattern that should be open. Right, didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just darted in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of sea ball 
get ball. This has been a long drive. You got to figure a field goal would be a letdown. Can they convert now on third and goal? Six, Working from the gun, Manning. And probably the wise decision there. No one open. He just throws it away. And that keeps the field goal on the table as it's fourth down. I think that was a good job there defensively. They did allow him to drive all the way downfield, but once they got their backs to the goal line, they really turned up the pressure. Yeah, they let him get all the way down here. Now the field shrinks. They've struggled to convert, and that last incompletion brings up fourth. And the kick by Rosas is good. And the Giants are off now to a 3-0 lead. So they get three, certainly hoping for six after a 13-play drive. So you console yourself on defense by saying you did your job, right? If they go 13 plays, you only give up a field goal. You did a nice job there. But here's the other part. 13 plays, you don't force any mistakes. You don't take the ball away. Maybe that's the way they should look at it. After the field goal, here's Rosas to kick it away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Big Ben and the Steelers with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. From the shotgun, it's Roethlisberger. Oh, well, that was dangerous. Threw it into coverage, almost picked, but instead they'll keep it on second down. And let's take a look at the Steeler offense. Out wide was the youngest player in the NFL in 2017, Juju Smith-Schuster. And he also had the longest reception in the league last season at 97 yards. Actually well-schooled in route running and able to run from both outside and moving inside You're to the right. slot position in order to make big plays. Line of scrimmage, again the 25, second and 10. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. It'll be a gain of 17 at a Pittsburgh first. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. Running game working, they'll stick with it on first down. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. So back-to-back -back big runs, picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing league. I thought this was the <laughs> era we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. And they didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. Offensive linemen still, to this day, they want to run the football. They want to fire out and hit people across the line of scrimmage, and they're clearing space. Now Roethlisberger to throw. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Alec Ogletree in from his linebacker spot. He's able to drop him for a loss of about 10. Hindsight is 20-20, partner. Maybe they should have kept it on the ground again. Well, it almost looked like the O-line was run blocking again. I mean, they opened up a big hole last time. This time they opened up a hole, and the quarterback got sacked. On second down, Roethlisberger, and his pass incomplete. Antonio Brown, the intended receiver, and now it's third down. And the big meet on the D-line, we'll see how they do today. And I'd hate to be an offensive lineman having to deal with these guys. They come in hungry, mean, and confident. They think that no one can block them. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. 
From the gun, it's Roethlisberger. And this one is incomplete. It's never a bad idea to try and get it to Antonio Brown, but it must be a little bit of the Madden curse going on for our cover athlete here. Hasn't been able to get that elite separation that we're used to seeing from him. On fourth down, here comes a Steeler punter, Jordan Berry, to kick it away. And he'll get this away into the icy winter air. And a great job on special teams to down it as this will be marked out inside the five-yard line. And the Giants ready to come out now. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point the kicker. Exactly. <laughs> he put it through the post. That's going to help him in contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him in contract time. You, you could have kicked that one too. I don't know about that. <laughs> Toe bash. I don't know about <laughs> that. <laughs> Super tall. They were looking for a cushion from that end zone. He gave it to him. 15 big yards. I guess it's good we can't really read the mind of the defensive coordinator now, huh? Had him pinned back there deep, give up that run. Can't be happy. Yeah, whatever was whatever is in his mind right now, we probably couldn't say over the air. On play action, it's Manning. He's able to out-muscle him here as he pulls it in. That one goes for 24 yards. So Manning to Beckham in this defense, they better hone in on that connection. It's almost like an electrical charge for him, isn't it? When he catches the first one, I'm talking about OBJ, he just goes to the huddle and says, more, more, more. And really, he, he's just one of those guys that once he gets going, look out. Manning now. 7 of 10 here in this first half, and he's got a first and 10. Now Manning. Over the middle to back him. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes.